Hey, welcome to my youtube channel thank you for stopping by today i'll be discussing with you my 14 days jump rope challenge and reasons i went into it so i decided to challenge myself and do 2000 jump ropes every day jump rope was the only thing i could do without getting bored and i could do it at any point in time so if you don't know what jump rope is jump rope is also known as skipping ropes i did this challenge for 14 days and i was very pleased with myself and i decided to share it jump rope is a very good cardio exercise and if you're jumping ropes you know that you're going to lose weight in every part of your body and not just particular areas so by the way if you're not yet subscribed to my channel kindly do so and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment at the end of it reasons i decided to jump into this challenge was because i had a baby some months back and i thought it was the right time for me to start shedding some weight i didn't like what i would see in the mirror and i decided to do something about it and i'm happy that i actually jumped into this challenge there are certain things you might want to know and do at this point in time before you jump into this challenge the first thing you want to do is have the right frame of mind make up your mind it shouldn't be something that someone is going to force you to do just make up your mind that okay i'm going to start exercising if someone is forcing you you might tend to give up at some point so the next thing you want to do is get you a good counting jump rope not to worry if you can't afford it you can get any other rope you can and you can get some stones or some sticks so that while you're jumping you don't forget how much you have counted again it took me 14 days to achieve this particular result so consistency is very key if you want to see great results and improvements for faster results i'm going to put a picture of what my meal look like for the most part of it i ate clean and for some times of course I indulged and I satisfied my cravings but I didn't overdo so you don't want to overdo if at all you want to satisfy your craving get you a good sports bra because you don't want your mammary gland dancing here and there and your neighbors being entertained or coming back to cry that oh your chest hurts get a very good exercise bra get you a good exercise shoe preferably a good cross training shoe that will help your knees your ankles and your entire body for you not to enjoy yourself consider getting good outfit except you like showing some skin but if you don't like showing skin get you tops that will cover your belly and your butt because as you keep jumping you tend to realize that your tops keep going up because you don't want to twist your ankles right so just get a very good surface and you're good to go if you're jumping on an asphalt ground and i encourage you to get an exercise mat because from time to time you realize that your ropes keep damaging invest in a good exercise mat or invest in a good jumping rope so let me explain what i mean so the first rope i ever jumped with after two days the rope caught but i didn't understand why it happened so when i decided to look into it i realized that because i was jumping on an at fast surface turns to eat up quickly and then it caught so this was the next one i bought this one has a counter but i don't encourage you to get this because it is not accurate with counting now this is the challenge i faced with jumping on an at fast ground i don't know if you can see so this is the challenge you're going to face so this was the second jump rope i got then i got the third one i have not used it i realized that these ones are not good investments especially if you're jumping on at fast ground so if you're going to be using cheap ropes like this invest in a good exercise mat this was my saving grace i don't know if you can see i love the fact that it gave me exactly what i wanted i was always looking forward to jumping so but i still encourage you to get a good exercise mat because it will help the longevity of your ropes now the final thing to know is the heavier the ropes the better it is because you tend to burn more fat with heavier ropes than very light ropes so for day one even though i was pumped and had made up my mind to start this challenge the rope kept on entangling into my legs so don't don't think that immediately you start you're going to get to 2000 almost immediately it's a big lie your body has to get adjusted your mind has to get adjusted so for day one it was a little bit difficult for me but as time went by it got easier day two it was still the same thing 
but I was still pumped and of course I had my goal in mind so I didn't completely give up by the time I was done I was pleased with myself day three my entire body was aching because of course as you guys know it is cardio obviously your body is going to ache so I didn't stop I continued but if you cannot take it I advise that you stop take a break and continue by day four I could do 40 50 60 down to 80 without the rope getting entangled in my leg and I was already feeling like a pro you know feeling happy with myself day five I was already doing it and loving it and I didn't want to stop so know that as the day goes by it gets easier and if you're determined you might not want to stop again I wanted a faster result so I inculcated other exercises exercises and techniques to eat. By day 10, my techniques were better. I could do 150 jump ropes at, at a go. Um, I could already see changes in my body. Even my husband had to compliment that he could see changes in my body and I was very pleased with myself. I was very pumped and I didn't want to give up. Of course, I had four more days to go. By day 14, man, my endurance level was at its peak. I was so pleased with myself. You know, the result I got was amazing. So I'm going to insert clips of my routine mentioning each day and so that you guys understand what I'm talking about, right? So it was fun. I enjoyed it and of course I've not stopped I'm still doing it that is the only form of exercise I tend to enjoy this period and I always update them on my insta story so if you're not following me on Instagram you might consider doing that so that you get my updates you can follow me with my Instagram handle up here or here wherever I put it done and dusted 2,000 jump ropes it wasn't easy fam this is uh, day two so let's see how it goes done exhausted already but well, let's keep going oh my god i'm done for day three i will probably not be showing you guys what it looks like subsequently because I realized that I'm repeating the same thing so you guys don't get bored. I've lost my breath. I can't really talk that much. So see you guys at the end of it. If I'm able to stitch carry you guys along I will The advantages of jump ropes are one you don't have to register at the gym two you do it in the comfort of your home anytime anywhere so especially if you have a child like me who would not allow you to do anything so most cases i just put him in his car seat take him to wherever i'm jumping and he even enjoys watching mommy jump right so you might also want to try that and let me know what you think in the comment section if you have a child i mentioned this earlier it's a great cardio and you will lose weight if you are consistent in every part of your body don't forget to give this video a thumbs up at the end of it i hope you enjoyed 
this transformation process and challenge. Thank you so much for stopping by. Until next time. <laughs> Bye.